Barakumur, Pishwit Moran Malohan, Yamino, Namrahmano, Sok, Maromo. May you show mercy and blessings on this food. Blessed in the name of the Holy Trinity, in the centuries of centuries. Amen. Listening to this grace said by a humble monk in the language that the biblical patriarchs used 4,000 years ago in their prayers to God and that Jesus of Nazareth used 2,000 years ago is a moving experience. It's an invisible link that brings different places and moments in history together into a single religion. Emphasized by the discovery on distant shores of the living memory of the Aramaeans, a people that was born pagan and became a people of God. At the dawn of Christianity, in the fourth year after the ascension of Christ, Peter, the Prince of the Apostles, founded the first Christian church here in Antioch, modern-day Antakya. The first patriarchal seat of the Syrian Orthodox Church, directly descended from Peter's church, was therefore also in Antioch, where it remained until the year 518. The seat of the church was then moved to various monasteries of Mesopotamia. The last was Der Zafiran, which remained the official seat of the Patriarchate for nearly 700 years, from 1293 until 1932. After a period of atrocious violence, particularly during and following World War I, in which 250,000 faithful lost their lives, the Patriarchate was transferred to various places in Syria. Since 1957, it has been in Damascus. Today, the spiritual head of the Syrian Orthodox Church continues to carry out his high apostolic mission from the capital of Syria, near the gate of Babtuma, one of the seven gates in the ancient walls of Damascus, is the seat of the Patriarchate.
The current patriarch, His Holiness Moran Mor Ignatius Zaka I, is 122nd in a line that starts with St. Peter. A half hour drive north of Damascus is the great seminary of St. Ephraim, whose impressive buildings were officially opened in 1966. Although the style is modern, this and other recent church buildings often contain elements inspired by traditional Syriac architecture and style. One example of this is the new monastery of St. Mary near Hasake in eastern Syria. It has only recently been finished. A spontaneous act of reverence by a passing van driver honored the sanctity of this new monastery that was still not inaugurated at the time. The language of the Syrian Orthodox Church is Syriac. Along with Palmyrene, Nabataean, Mandaic, and the Jewish Aramaic dialects, Syriac is the legacy of Aramaic, the language of Jesus and the Apostles. A legacy that is cherished in these manuscripts of the past, some of which have had a hazardous and troubled history. So much so, that it's a sheer miracle that a part of these, some of them 15 centuries old, have reached our own times. In 1559, a large number of Syriac manuscripts were burned in India in the presence of the members of the Jamper Synod, a move that aimed to stamp out many of the local Syriac Christian traditions. 10,000 Middle Eastern manuscripts were lost in 1715 when the ship that was carrying them to the Vatican sank. Perhaps these are among the reasons why in the Syrian Orthodox Church of today, patient hands continue to copy these precious writings. The painstaking labor of a scribe from ages past. It took more than 340 hours to copy the Peshitta, the Syriac text of the Bible. A veritable labor of love. Here in the cave church of St. Peter in Antioch, the final liturgical ceremony of a synod of Syrian Orthodox bishops is being held. The synod is attended by the patriarch and the archbishops and metropolitans.